Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's start off with our good morning song. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side over to the other side. One last stretch, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Circle Time. I hope you're having a great day so far. We have three things to do before we move on to the calendar and weather chart. First, turn on your listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin. So I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how we do that? That's right. Boom, 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 boom. Let me grab my pointing stick and we can go over the date together. Up at the top, we have the month. Do you remember what month it is? November, you're right. Today is November 10th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was November 9th, and today is November 10th. And up at the top, we have the year. There are two ways to say the year. You can say that it's 2021, but you can also say that it's 2021. Let's see how many days we've had so far in the month of November. You can take out your counting finger and let's warm them up to give them a little stretch. I have my counting stick and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've had 10 days so far in the month of November. If you hold up your 10 fingers like this, but you take away three fingers, one, two, three. Now you have seven fingers left and we're ready to sing the day of the week song. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So listen for the sound that the day starts with, and you can tell me what the day is. Yesterday was t Tuesday. So that means that today is w Wednesday. And tomorrow will be th Thursday. Let's sing Today is Wednesday together, and then we'll go over the season. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. There are two ways to say the season. You can say that it's autumn, but you can also say that it's fall. And down at the bottom of the chart, I have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together, and then we can share what we see outside of the window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today, where I live, it's a windy day outside. That is going to be perfect for our work later on. When I look outside of my window, 
I see the branches and the trees blowing. And my temperature chart today is right between light blue and orange. It's a little bit chillier today, but it's supposed to warm up later on. And what do you see outside of your window, friends? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. This week, we have been talking about this capital letter. Can you tell me the sound that this letter makes? That's right, this letter says V. And what is this letter called? V. This is a capital or uppercase V. V says V. And I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. I have a picture of something that starts with the letter V. V. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a vehicle. This vehicle is usually a boxy shape and it's used to transport things. Hmm, what's a vehicle that starts with the letter V? v? Let's take a look. This is a van. So vans are boxy shaped and they're used to transport goods or people. Van starts with the letter V. v. This is how you write an uppercase V. v. One more time. Let's move on to the number of the week. This double digit number is the number 24, but you have to write two numbers when you write the number 24. First, you write the number two, and then you write the number four. Two, four, 24. Let's count the number 24 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count the number 24 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Two tens, four units, 24. Let's take a peek and see what we have to count today inside of the number box. I have a bunch of pebbles. And as I count these pebbles, I'm going to be making two rows of 12. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Halfway there. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, and one more makes 24. 24 pebbles. We've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week. So let's move on to the sign of the week. This week's sign is poem. Can you show me how to do that? Poem. Today is a very windy day. And that's perfect for today's poem, which is called The Brave Little Kite by Catherine Pyle. As he looked at the others high over his head, I know I should fall if I tried to fly. Try, said the big kite, only try, or I fear you will never learn at all. But the little kite said, I'm afraid I'll fall. The big kite nodded, ah, well, goodbye, I'm off and he rose towards the tranquil sky. Then the little kite's paper stirred at the sight, and trembling, he shook himself free for flight. First whirling and frightened, then braver grown, up, up he rose through the air alone, 
till the big kite looking down could see the little one rising steadily. Then how the little kite thrilled with pride as he sailed with the big kite side by side. While far below, he could see the ground and the boys like small dots moving around. They rested high in the quiet air. Only the birds and the clouds were there. Oh, how happy I am, the little kite cried, all because I was brave and tried. Have you ever flown a kite before? What about flying a kite that you made yourself? Have you ever done that? Well, that's what we're going to do today. Let's go. For today's work, we are going to be making our own kites. So I have a bunch of different tools right here, but it's actually pretty simple to make. You're going to need a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, a hole punch, a pair of scissors, a stapler, some yarn or string, and a ruler, which is optional. The first thing that I'm going to do is take my piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half this way. So I want the corners to all meet up and I'm just going to fold it along the middle like so. The next thing that I'm going to do, and this part is optional, is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to mark down about two and a half inches. So I see the number two and the number three. And if I mark right between the number two and three, that's two and a half right here. So I'm going to make a mark at two and a half. And then I'm going to make another mark down two and a half more inches. So which would be right at the number five, right here. Again, this part is optional. This is just to help you fold the wings down. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take one of the corners right here and I'm going to take the corner and hold it to the first mark, right like this. I'm not going to crease it. I'm just going to take the corner and hold it down to the first mark. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing with the other corner. It almost looks like a paper airplane. So when you have those two corners folded down, then you can take your stapler and staple those corners down like this. Remember, we also made a second mark right here, and that's where you're going to punch the hole. This is where the string is going to be attached because you can't have a kite without string. Friends, if you would like to decorate your kite, you could do that before you fold the wings down. But because I had such a brightly colored kite today, I decided to just stick with this bright color and not add any decorations. But you could use stickers or markers or crayons, however you would like to decorate your kite. So the last step is to take a very, very long piece of yarn or string. I'm actually going to just cut off a little end right here from the yarn, but it's still attached to the ball, this ball of yarn right here. And I'm going to take the end and just loop it through the hole like this. Friends, if you need any help um, with any of these steps, you can always ask a grown-up to help you whether it's tying a knot or measuring, it's always okay to ask for help. So I knotted the yarn through the hole to my kite, and this part is the part that I'm going to hold on very tight. And there we have it. We have a very simple kite that's easy to fly. 
Now all we have to do is wait for a windy day to test it out. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Hopefully you have a windy day at your house, but if not, you can just wait until the next time you see the wind blowing in the trees before you test out your kite. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. It's time to wave goodbye and sing together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.